congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I've had too much champagne to answer that question. <laughs> uh, Emma? I also believe you're the youngest director to have ever won. Wow. I mean, how does that feel? Uh, well, now that you say that, uh, it feels, uh, it feels uh, incredible. Um, uh, I, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I think I'm still processing. This is my first time ever at the Golden Globes. Uh, I assume it doesn't always go this way, so I'm not going to get used to it. Um, but I was just so honored to be here at all. Uh, I think the movie touches people because they see the authenticity that we put into it. We weren't trying to do anything but tell our story. I think people uh, respect that because often you try to tell a story that you believe someone is going to be willing to pay to hear. That was not our goal. Our goal was to just speak truth to Terrell's experience and my experience. And I think in doing that, you can go to Kathmandu, you know, or I could say I've been to, you know, you can go to London or, or Rome or Toronto or Telluride, these places so far removed, or the HFPA, the Philippines, you know, uh, to Russia, all these different places. And people respect the fact that, oh no, I'm not trying to make a story that relates to you and your place. I'm just telling a story about my place right here, right now. And I think we need more of that as we move into the next four years of life on this planet. I, I see what you're saying, but man, there are people who are, my, my chest is vibrating right now because my phone is buzzing on Twitter and Instagram. People who have seen this film three times, four times, uh, not as escapism, but as realism. They want to go into the cinema and see something real uh, reflected. You know, all these films, thank you. You know, all these films, they predate no one could have anticipated that we would be sitting on the president-elect that we have uh, coming into office in the next uh, 12, 13 days. However, we all made these films because we felt something was lacking in the soil at the root, these stories that hadn't been told. And I don't know if it was that these two things were coming together at the same time, but we're here now, you know, and we have to keep telling these stories very truthfully and honestly. And we have to give people things not to escape to. There's room for escapism but things they can run to to reaffirm that, not that all lives matter, I don't want to step into that, but that you know what, if you're feeling something and you want to speak it, you speak it, and someone there will be there uh, to hear your truth. And I think that's been the experience of Moonlight so far.